a better setup for political buzz, a rapid fire look at the hottest political topics of the day. Each of our brilliant political observers get 20 seconds to answer three probing questions. Cornell Belcher is a Democratic pollster, Dean Obadala is an award winning comedian, and Will Kane is a conservative political analyst and CNN contributor. Welcome to you all. Let's get to question number one. The president meets with a bunch of Republicans at the White House today. In fact, that meeting's going on right now. They'll be talking about whether the debt ceiling should be raised. Is this a good sign or a waste of time? Cornell? It's a good sign. What's a bad sign is yesterday you had Republicans go on the floor and basically, you know, introduce a, a, the bill that they knew they, were gonna, they weren't going to pass, and then they back-channeled their Wall Street buddies saying, don't worry about it. They were putting it on political theater, but this is a good thing, ultimately, because we've got to get this passed. Will? Look, A, there must be spending reform. The people want it. Politicians know it. B, the debt ceiling must be raised, period, unless you're an advocate for depression, Look, a concept which is not without its merits. So how do we work this out? These guys got to get together. Is it a waste of time? No. Is it a good sign? We'll see. <laughs> Dean. I think it's a great sign. I think they have to do more than that. They should go to dinner, maybe take a carriage ride around New York City, go to a Broadway show. They need to talk. But the one thing President Obama, I hope he does not give in the Republican plan to decimate Medicare as we know it. My mom's an older American. She depends on it. Millions of other Americans do. So give in on certain things, but please don't give in on Medicare. Okay, question number two. Sarah Palin and Donald Trump meet over pizza in New York. What message are they sending the Republican establishment? Will? That they're two peas in a pod. They're birds of a feather. They're reality television hosts who, will, who are populist, tell people whatever they want to hear. By the way, what, is, what does that mean, establishment? I used to think I knew what that meant. Now it's anybody who, who for whom Sarah Palin and Donald Trump don't send a tingle up their leg. I don't, so I don't know. I don't know what establishment is. Cornell. Establishment is, is all the people you have running for, for, for Republican nomination. What this, what this is saying is that the field is so weak that you can have someone with, with not an ounce of, of, of policy experience, not even a coherent ideal, uh, leap in the race and probably end up being the, the second person or if not the front runner in, in your Republican primary. Dean. I think they're testing the waters for a great new reality show that I would watch every day. Palin and Trump would be a great team. But how frustrating it must be for like Mitt Romney and for Tim Pawlenty trying to get some traction while Trump and Palin go to the Olive Garden and get more press. So it's a challenging time for the mainstream Republicans by far. Okay, now it's time for our buzzer beater, 10 seconds apiece only. Congressman Anthony Weiner, a Democrat, a liberal, and evasive about a lewd tweet uh, supposedly sent to a college student. Will this hurt him politically? Cornell. You know, I don't think it, I hope it won't hurt him politically. I don't even understand, I don't understand, understand the story. Look, I'm old school. Ladies, if you want to send me naked pictures, send them to my email. <laughs> Will. Either his Facebook and Twitter account were hacked, which is a pretty big deal, or he took a picture of himself in his britches half-masked. I, uh, I don't see how this doesn't hurt him politically. Dean. I think Americans are tired of uh, politics as usual. Anthony Weiner's changed that. He's requiring, I think, all elected officials send pictures of their, in their own underwear to their constituents. Let's see, they have nothing to hide. That's what Americans want. We want a different type of politician. <laughs> I'm glad time ran out on that one. I was getting scared. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for playing Political Buzz today. Of course, Political Buzz will be back tomorrow. It was fun. Checking our top stories now. You're in